Bonjour Sabol Jorosh. Euh, bonjour, hello. <rire> Merci de nous accueillir pour cet entretien 85 chrono. Alors c'est votre première apparition sur TV Vendée. Vous êtes l'un des six skippers basés au Sable d'Olonne et candidat pour le Vendée Globe 2024 avec votre IMOCA New Europe. Sabolch, vous avez 50 ans, vous êtes hongrois et un skipper assez discret, il faut le dire, dans le paysage de la course au large en Vendée. Alors pour ceux qui ne vous connaîtraient pas encore, qui êtes-vous finalement Sabolch Verush <laughs> yes, my name is Sabot, Sabi, Sabot Vyrash. I'm coming from Hungary. Yes, I'm 50 years old. And then, as you know, in Hungary, we don't have the opportunity to sailing on the oceans because we don't have oceans. That's why we are using yours. <laughs> and uh, offshore sailing was al al always uh, my dreams. You know, I started to sail when I was uh, six, uh, six years. I'm coming from a sailing family in Hungary. You know, my father was uh, my, my trainer, my coach. My sister is an Olympic sailor in 470 class. She was participating in uh, uh, Olympic Games in Athens. We did together some the 2007 America's Cup in Valencia. My bro brother is also a sailor. Uh, I did all kind of sailing, I must say, except the single-handed offshore sailing. And then if you want to do single-handed offshore sailing, you must be here in France. Pourquoi surtout avoir fait le choix de venir en Vendée plutôt que sur d'autres pôles de course au large comme à Lorient ou à Port-la-Forêt par exemple It's it's quite simple. You know the home of one the globe is Le Sable d'Olonne, not uh, Lorient. I really like uh, Le Sable d'Olonne. They were uh, welcoming me as a small project and I think uh, I feel very good very good here and I'm very happy to be here in Le Sable d'Olonne. Alors, comment est-ce que s'organise votre emploi du temps entre votre vie euh, sablaise et puis aussi votre vie dans votre pays natal, la Hongrie Comment est-ce que tout ça s'organise It's not easy. You know, the distance is 2000 km and most of the time I'm driving with a car. I'm spending about the half the time here in Le Sable, the other half in, 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 in Hungary, because my sponsors and all administrative stuff has to be done in in Hungary and also part of my team is living in Hungary so I traveled uh, during this preparation at least to Vendée Globes on the road <laughs> the distance the similar distances to Vendée Globes Sabolch, comme les cinq autres skippers qui sont basés ici au Sable d'Olonne, votre Imoca a aussi passé eh l'hiver dans son chantier. Euh, C'était le chantier ici où était basé votre Imoca. Évidemment, ce n'est pas l'Imoca qui est à côté de nous. Euh, avant d'être remis à l'eau le 20 mars dernier, euh, quels ont été les grands travaux euh, de cet hiver sur votre Imoca New Europe uh, First of all, I would like to say thank you to, to Le Sable, the classic yacht club, to giving me this nice uh, place. And it was the first time Uh, in the last past three years that I had the opportunity to to spend in, in a proper shed, with a cover shed for, for the winter refit. Basically the big refit on my boat was done uh, last year and then as a small team we were focusing this year just servicing the boat. You know, after the season we take everything apart and then we just did uh, smaller jobs. The goal is to make the boat as reliable as possible. On peut, on peut dire qu'il est, est donc fin prêt, votre bateau, il y a encore quelques ajustements à faire. No, we used to say, you know, you can, uh, the boat is never ready, but you can stop working, and then at some stage, you have to go to the water, because I think the biggest improvement is increasing the sailing hours outside. There is always small, small things, but uh, my boat is uh, quite an old uh, design, so uh, uh, not the newest uh, technology, and it's proven, and it's quite a reliable boat. La saison Imoca, elle s'ouvre bientôt. Alors dans un peu plus de deux semaines maintenant, le 28 avril marquera le départ de la Transat CIC qui rallie Lorient à New York, et puis le 29 mai place au départ de la New York Vendée les Sables. Um, Sabolch. Quels seront vos objectifs sur ces deux courses et puis surtout allez-vous prendre part à ces deux courses No, I'm not taking part in both races. I decided just uh, racing back from New York to to Le Sable. You know the qualification is, is is quite tight, but now in the third on the last years, so the picture getting more and more clear and it looks like that I'm I'm safe with the miles. So if I'm finishing uh, the New York 
uh, one day race is, is enough uh, for me. I think it's safer and then we have the options to calibrate the boat or getting to ready and that's why we decided to, to sail to New York in delivery mode as uh, many other teams I think. On peut le rappeler justement, vous l'avez bien dit, Sabolch, donc il y a aussi plus de candidats que de places disponibles pour ce Vendée Globe. 44 skippers pour seulement 40 places et puis vous êtes provisoirement qualifié puisqu'actuellement dans la 34e position dans le tableau de sélection pour le Vendée Globe. Ce Vendée Globe 2024 pour vous, ce sera le tout premier, Sabolch. Vous dites aussi vous inscrire dans le siège d'un certain Nandorfa qui est le seul et unique skipper hongrois à avoir participé et terminé un Vendée Globe avec trois participations, 1992, 1996 et 2016 et double finition de l'épreuve, c'est un modèle pour vous Yes, Nandor is, is, is my mentor. He was the first non-French sailor doing, making uh, the Vendée Globe, so it means for me that everything is possible. So it's not crazy to having a dream like this. All you have to do is working very, very hard. Nandor is helping me a lot. He is also living so half, half, half time in Lesart, half time in, in Hungary. He, he likes to be here uh, very much and he is giving uh, lots of advices. He is a very big help and motivation for me as well. Quel est peut-être pour l'heure le plus précieux conseil qu'il ait pu vous transmettre? I think it's the, uh, the, the attitude, the behavior. I think I had to learn the philosophy because it was very far from me, the single-handed sailing, the project, the pressure, the problems. I see that how calm Nandor is and how he trusts, he has the faith and then just, just work. And then he's showing me that don't worry, everything will be in the right time, in the right place. And this kind of attitude is helping me a lot. Comme avant, vous étiez souvent en équipage. Vous avez fait vos premières courses en solitaire il y a seulement quelques années. Vous avez tout de suite vu la différence et la difficulté que cela représentait d'être tout seul à bord. I think, you know, you French people like extremes, <laughs> and then my story is quite an extreme one. My first single-handed sailing happened in a 60-footer Imoco in my current boat. So you can imagine two, three years ago, first time when I find myself out in the Bay of Biscay, it was quite a bit of experience. I must say, I was really scared. <laughs> I didn't know how to deal, but step by step, I managed to sort, you know, I, I came over my fears. I had the faith. I know that I have the knowledge, I have the skills, and then step by step, uh, I, I, I get uh, used to these feelings, but it was a huge step. Sur votre profil, sur le site officiel du Vendée Globe, Sabolch, on peut lire que votre philosophie, euh, vous l'avez dit tout à l'heure, c'est de prendre les choses étape par étape et de gérer les attentes. Qu'est-ce que cela signifie concrètement? All these words means for me is anything is possible. Anything is possible. You have to build up. You have to have first a dream, and then dream became a goal and then you have to find your steps towards your goal. I think it's a challenge is not a challenge when you know the end result. I don't know the end result because it's so far. Only I know that I do any, every moment I'm doing my best. Don't see too far ahead because then the pressure would be too big and you might, might collapse. My philosophy is coming from You know, when I'm on an Ironman, when you became to the 20th kilometer of the marathon, that things are getting, you know, no one can train for it. Only things is your mental strength, what is one, what must be there. And then I'm always saying to myself, can I make one step? Yes, you can. Can you make always one more step? Do your best, uh, what you can do in, in the moment. This is my philosophy. And then and having very strong faith that everything will be right. En tout cas, la prochaine étape pour vous, Sabolch, ce sera donc le 29 mai avec cette transat retour, la New York, Vendée, les sables. Merci beaucoup, Sabolch, The Rutch. Merci.